Hey everybody! In today's video, I am going to play with a very fun stamp set from Concord and Knight called Hi There Bear. I was in Salt Lake City when this set was released and I had to order from my hotel room because I was dying over how cute it is. The bear can be done several different ways, just a regular bear or a panda bear. There's also an outline stamp to the set that you'll see in a little bit that I won't be using on the card. But if you can be anything, be a panda. So I'm choosing the panda today. Now I chose to stamp the detail stamp first in black because I think it's a little bit easier to line up the outline if you do that. And then I want just a tiny bit of definition, so I'm going to keep to a really light ink for the second layer. And he has little fuzzy edges on his ears. They are so cute. And that also makes it a little bit easier to line up. So the points I looked at were like the bottom of his belly and his little paw that's raised in the air and then his ears. And then he's real easy to get straight. So the light ink that I chose is Smoky Slate, my favorite light gray. And I just want you to be able to see his outline, but I don't want to add a ton of color. I did think when I was stamping this how fun it would be to do him in really bright, non-panda compliant colors as well. This set does have matching dyes which I will be using in a second, but before I do that, this little guy needs a mouth and a nose, which are also adorable. Now the outline stamp for this also has a face, so if you're using it for the regular bear, then the face is incorporated into that stamp. But for my little panda, he has a separate eye and nose and mouth stamp. You know how every time you go to set your stamp down in the right place and then it sticks to your finger and you try to move out of the way? That's what's happening here. So I'll ink up this little guy's face and he has the cutest like little smirk, like a sideways smile on. And I'll just make sure that's good in black on his nose. And I don't really need the eyes. You'll see why later. But once that is done, then I can start putting the card together. Oh, I've just given you a hint about the eyes. Oh well, now you know where I'm going. He's going to have some cute, fun little eyes. Now I found this paper. It's from the upcoming Occasions mini catalog from Stampin' Up. It's beautiful black and white paper. And it turns out it was perfect for what I wanted to do with this card because it has these nice white stripes that perfectly match the size of the sentiments from the stamp set that I'm going to be using. So once I get that on there, then I can line up the sentiments, which are perfect for the card today. I'm part of a little blog hop today, and this is exactly the message that I wanted to send. Now the sentiments in this set are kind of mix and match, so I mixed them and matched them to get exactly what I wanted. Now it's off screen a little bit at the bottom, so the sentiment is going to be kind of a surprise for you since you're not able to see it. But I'll just take a second to line those up. One will be on the card base below the pattern paper. And then two of them will fit into the stripes. I love this sort of typewriter font that's in this set. It matches this style of the bear so perfectly. Because he's kind of a little retro bear. So I can put all three of those on at once. And then ink them up. And yes, I still have my Bob Ross mask on the back of my ink pad. It makes me laugh every time I see it. So I refuse to remove it. Also, we found out at class this week and it makes it really easy to tell which ink pad is mine. <laughs> and it's the one with Bob Ross on it. 
So the little bear will get popped up, but first I am going to give him some crazy eyes because that's what I love to do. So I'm just looking to see some of these sets of eyes. The eyes are two different sizes in a pair. And this eye is a good size. I thought I wanted to give him blue eyes. But then I looked at the one that was bigger. And he looks a little deranged. And I'm not sure a deranged panda was really what I was going for. So I'm going to take those off. And I'm going to give him two eyes of a more similar size. And this time they're green, so they're going to match some of the new self-adhesive sequins that I have from also from the upcoming occasions catalog. So that worked out perfectly. So there he is with eyes. He is freaking adorable. Hilarious. Way to go, Concord and Ninth. So there are the sequins. Perfect match for his little green eyes. And I'm going to use some mini dimensionals to pop him up. You don't want to be too sparing with the dimensionals because you want him to hold up in the mail. And the mini ones are the perfect size for his little ears and his paw. The full size dimensionals would be a little bit too big. So peel all that off and stick him down. Oh, he is so cute. <laughs> Now these have little glue dots on the back of them, so I don't even have to glue them on. I love that. And I'll just put three of those. Now I actually ended up cutting the card down because I decided I wanted to use one of these four bar wood envelopes that I love so much. There'll be a link to these in the description below and also on my blog. And I took the outline bear stamp from the set and I'm stamping him directly onto the wood envelope. You want to use sort of a quickly drying ink for this. It will seep into the wood grain a little bit, whatever you're stamping. But it looks great. And on the bear, it actually makes him look a little bit fuzzy. But a fast drying ink will bleed a little bit less into the wood grain. And then I'm going to put the same little high there sentiment that I used on the inside, just down at the bottom. And I just wanna make sure this is straight. These wood envelopes also watercolor beautifully. You can use colored pencil on them. And I think it's just such a fun way to send something through the mail. I think people are just wowed when they receive them. So, and they come in several different grains, several different colors of wood as well. But I like these lighter ones because I do like to color them sometimes. So cute. And then that envelope is finished. And you can either write on it or put a label on it. But here it is with the matching card. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching.